that crashed into Lake Michigan was a Piper Cherokee, a common one seen at AirVenture. And while the cause of the crash is under investigation, Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht looks at how weather could be affecting safe arrival conditions at EAA. Pilots camping out at the EAA Air Venture say while cool temperatures are a comfort, other weather conditions have been throwing wrenches in their flight plans. We're part of the Cherokees to Oshkosh mass arrival. Uh, we were scheduled for Friday at 1 o'clock. We got weathered out with the storms and rain and whatever, and they bumped us to Saturday morning at 11, so we flew the arrival yesterday. Um, had some cloud cover, but we had enough ceiling. Air Venture spokesperson Dick Nipinski says he expects safer flying conditions once the wind and clouds move out. If there is a storm front going through in Michigan, it'll keep people from the east from coming. If there's one in Minnesota, the people may be following that front through. So pilots being very beholden to the weather have to rely on that. And through Friday and Saturday, we could see that, that uh, the arrivals were down because of the weather. Today would be the day that most people would be arriving. We had four mass arrivals come in yesterday. A lot of people stay away to avoid that because that's just kind of a mess to arrive in the middle of that. Unless it's a pre-scheduled mass arrival, the EAA doesn't really know who will be coming to the air venture. They find out when the planes arrive. Those arrivals are monitored by the Civil Air Patrol volunteers at Flightline Operations. They record the, the registration numbers and the type of every aircraft that comes in, and that way when an airplane is overdue or missing and we have to go into search and rescue mode, the first place we'll go is to check in with them and see if he's arrived. Nipinski says though pilots may be itching to get to AirVenture, they should never fly outside the limitations of their aircraft or their skills. So traveling smarter, could make for a smoother landing. In Oshkosh, Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. Particular makes and models of planes can also be affected differently by adverse weather conditions. For example, pilots who fly Piper Cherokees told Fox 11 generally the smaller aircraft can be very difficult to handle if flying through tough weather situations.